Hey guys, it's System, and this is FTB University. Hope everyone is well, had an amazing day. I myself, really good one, really good day, and uh, in between episodes, did a little bit, not too much. We'll take a look, see, and just kind of push forward from there. So over here, I have the setup we did yesterday with the uh, induction matrix. Uh, I forgot to do this yesterday. I forgot to actually switch the port <laughs> to output. So yeah, I went in and fixed that in between episodes. It's actually working now. It's doing what it's supposed to. And uh, that's pretty sweet. Also ran into another issue here. Uh, the actual, I was using conduit before actually to connect to the actual uh, port there, the actual output port. And uh, wasn't working. It's still not working. Doesn't matter what setting I do. Uh, if I put conduit there, it just doesn't work. So I just have the power cells directly, uh, directly touching uh, the output ports now. So anyway, that affects that and uh, kind of deals with it. It might have something to do with how they're doing power in this pack. The conversion for the uh, IC2 power is kind of locked down. So it might be just a weird interaction is the only thing I, I can kind of think of there. But anyway, over here, set up a few cloches. So that is pretty cool. Just have some sugarcane, hemp, because I needed some more. Uh, I got myself some uh, pumpkin, melon, and wheat. And this one is just waiting for something. So same setup we had before. So just using one of those uh, uh, infinite water cells and then the power and uh, everything's there. A nice little tight setup. Be able to connect to that with a storage bus at some point. Just don't need to right now. So haven't got to it yet. Also down here, all of our agates are actually done. I need to kind of get them moved and uh, hooked up to this wall at some point. Not too concerned. I guess it's doing the very last of it right now, actually. Once it's done this one, it's actually finished. And uh, that is really awesome as well. And uh, that's pretty much everything I did. Oh, I put these in the floor. Because <laughs> that doesn't matter too much. Uh, one thing I want to jump into, I think, right away, is automating a metal press from Immersive Engineering. So we can handle plates and get into the rest of uh, our Immersive Engineering, pretty much. Right? So uh, Immersive Engineering, we did a little bit of it, a little bit of it early on. Uh, we want to get to this though. So the metal press is likely to be one of your first machines you make. It gives you cheaper recipes for plates and gears, rods. It, it's not any cheaper. And <laughs> I don't know why they say that's cheaper for the rods. It's not. But the plates and gears, it makes them cheaper. The only one I really hear about those plates, because we could actually just craft the gears and we could just craft the rods. We can't just craft the plates. So I want to uh, get it automated for that. And then we'll probably move on to the crusher because I want to be able to deal with these... Uh, other ores here, the ones we can't do uh, with the uh, enriching factory. So we're going to set this up back here, though. And uh, I think I have pretty much everything. Oh, one thing we need to do first, I guess. We're going to need a uh, mold for it. And I have everything we need. You're going to need this uh, engineer's uh, blueprint metal press molds, which isn't hard to make at all. But anyway, go ahead and pop this in here. Go ahead and give it, I think it was five steel plates. There we go. Just like that. I don't even think that has to be like that, right? It could actually be stacked. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead and grab ourselves a Metapress. And uh, that's pretty good there. And uh, we're going to make a couple of the conveyors from the mod too. Because it actually wants us to make a couple of them. So I already made the base one. It's going to give us 32 more. Then it wants us to make like four more. So I'm going to use two of them in the build. Just because I never use this one at all. And I might as well use this one too. So we'll go ahead and uh, use those two, I guess. Let's go ahead and actually craft them, I suppose. Because I haven't done that yet. I want to make uh, this one here. Sweet. That's awesome. Go ahead and grab this. This is a dropping, uh, dropping conveyor belt. And let's go to uh, conveyor. I forget what the other one's called, actually. Let's go to conveyor, I guess, again. <laughs> there you go. This one's called a extracting conveyor belt. So we'll use this just for fun, I suppose. What was the other component to that? And there you go. Have that one. That should handle that. And uh, that should be pretty much everything we need for the setup, actually. So let's head back here. Just need to find two open channels. I know we're only using, I believe, five right here. So we'll just kind of feed it off this, I suppose. This is a multi-block, too. There is a book for this, too. So you can look in, in, in here, I guess. Kind of hunt them all down. Uh, heavy machinery is where we want to be. And metal press. This is the multi-block we need. It tells you all about it there. So uh, we don't need to do all that, though. We just need to get it set up. And uh, I have done this a few times, so we should be okay. Let's go ahead and pop that there. Uh, we're gonna need like seven blocks if I do it with these two bears. So I may do something like that there. Sweet. Need uh, two of these scaffolds. Just one in there and there. Go ahead and grab a piston. Pop it right there. Heavy engineering block. This is another one we need the automation for. Uh, these steel mechanicals. So that's a thing. Because I already need a bunch of them. Because we're gonna do the crusher as well in a little bit. So that's a thing. And one of the reasons I want this actual automation. 
And uh, I guess we just aim that down. And then we need to set up the conveyor belts. You need to be careful which way you put down the conveyor belts when you put it down. Because it will dictate which way the machine moves items, right? But uh, usually you can't really see it there because of my shaders. But there's a little arrow there. It's, you can kind of see it. It's, it's really glitchy. But if I aim kind of to the front side of the block, should push that way. And uh, that's exactly what we want. Then we should just have to hammer that and actually form the multi-block, which is uh, pretty cool. Anyway, that is awesome. Uh, we also want this, right? We were going to use this. So let's pop that there. Make sure it's running the right way. If not, I think we just hammer it around, right? Yeah, just kind of like that. That's cool. We're going to make that pull from the chest. That's going to pull out the items. And then we also have this one here, the dropping. And uh, we just pop that there. It's actually going the wrong way. And then we almost got our setup here. So let's go ahead and uh, make a new ender chest here. I'm making a new ender chest here, pretty much to be our main input of items whenever I use a machine to auto craft something. So this line is just going to be for auto crafting and bringing them in uh, finished products, right? So I'm going to use red, red, red for that. So we'll just pop that there. So we're kind of doing two things at once here, I guess. So let's do that. Awesome. I guess I'll need a, uh, I'm going to need an import bus. Go ahead and grab one of them. Import bus right there. That's cool. We got two of them. We'll then need that up there. Then we're ready to power this thing as well. So let's go grab a actual power cell out of this chest, I believe. Yeah, I got some in here. That is good. Get this done. Yeah, this is a cool machine, but uh, like I said, we're just using it for plates. Um, you can do gears and stuff with it too, rods. But uh, rods, uh, I guess gears, we don't really even need in this pack. We don't have a lot of immersive. So we just have like the base mod for it. So we have the gears there, but uh, we don't even need most of them for the pack, I noticed. But anyway, that should be good there. That's on output. Everything's good. I guess we need to get it all wired up though. So <laughs> probably should do that. Let's uh, kind of go like that there. So I'll just pull things that go in here. Uh, like I said, this is going to be set up for other setups as well. This is kind of doing it prematurely. Uh, I also need an interface here. Let's go ahead and grab interface. Let's actually just craft a new one. I think I got more out there, but anyway, <laughs> I usually make a bunch of these at once. So this, it doesn't really matter where it goes too much, I guess. I'll just keep it down there. Sweet. Go ahead and make sure it's aimed up. And now uh, we're going to feed this into a chest, actually. So let's do that. Sweet, sweet. And yeah, we just need any kind of chest here will work. Just use uh, one of these irons, I guess, because I got a bunch of them <laughs> for whatever reason. Let's do that. And now any items will get you know, into this chest or get spit out uh, of this conveyor belt using this extracting conveyor belt. And this thing, can kinda, it has a weird little setting on it. So if you have a pair of uh, wire clicker, uh, cutters on it, on you, I guess. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. You can actually just right click and then change how many ticks in between each one that sends out. I'm just going to leave it at 20, I guess, because uh, we don't need it super fast. And uh, I guess we just need to wire up the rest of this, then uh, make a recipe. And uh, this thing's actually pretty much done. So that is cool. So let's go make a recipe here. Head out here. We're going to make, uh, I guess, the we need the iron and steel plate, I guess, to be able to automate all the other recipes, which I think I already have made. So anyway, let's go do, I'd actually just go to uh, what would be plates, right? No, is it plates? It should be plates, right? If I go to iron plate, it's these here. Yeah, just iron plate. Let's go ahead and grab this recipe. Make sure it's on processing. Make sure we go to metal press. Make sure you take out this mold. You don't want that there because it'll definitely derp up. And uh, we also want the steel plate at this point, I guess. So we'll have this recipe here. That's awesome. Grab that one. And uh, I could probably hunt that down in the interface too. It's probably in here now. <laughs> actually, no, it's just going to say iron chest, isn't it? Yeah, that's it right there with the iron chest. You can actually uh, take those uh, interfaces too and name them. Then if it's something weird like that, you can actually have it named in there. So anyway, that's a thing. So those recipes should be actually in here now. So that's cool. And uh, we should be actually able to just make plates. And I have uh, already went ahead and made a couple of these, but I want to make sure this is working. Oh, the mold. <laughs> totally forget about the mold. We gotta take the mold, and that sits right here. So if you want to set one up for like mold for plates and gears and for rods, you need a separate metal, uh, separate metal press for that. There's no way to kind of exchange the plates uh, that I know of anyway. So that's a thing. I've never actually tried. Maybe there is a way <laughs> to automate that, but it'd be kind of janky either way. I think. Anyway, that's good. Oh, I have this recipe messed up. I need to go fix that mess uh, recipe there. 
Uh, I did this one, but I didn't fix this one. Anyway, we can test the iron. So let's head in here. Sweet. Go ahead and grab that. It's going to drop off the iron. It kind of sits on the press too. And if you walk up and grab that, it'll kind of get taken away. You can kind of do this in a different way so it doesn't do that. But it doesn't really matter unless you're kind of crafting hundreds of them. So not really concerned about that. We can see the plates are going in. It's going into the chest. It's getting pulled out. And uh, that is awesome. And now whenever I want to have another machine that does an automation like that where I want to enter chest things, I can just set up this under chest and then just use it as the main line. Anyway, that's going to kind of be how that works there. And uh, I guess we just need to actually go ahead and fix this recipe. Yeah, it's this one, right? That right there. Pop that out. That looks good. And then get that puppy in the interface, right? There we go. And there we go. So that's awesome. We actually have it working now. That is cool. One more machine kind of taken care of. And uh, I guess the next thing I'd like to get into probably, like I said, is going to be the crusher. So I may go ahead and craft up a lot of these blocks. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Like I said, I already set up most of the recipes. So I already have the scaffolds. I have the heavy engineering blocks. I have the light engineering blocks. All the components, even the rods. I may have to set up the iron rods. I'm not sure if we need them. But uh, I think we pretty much have everything. So... Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. It's just a big multi-block crusher. So if we go to here, uh, head back this way, go to crusher. This is effectively what we need to build. So yeah, just kind of big, massive monster of a multi-block. Get that done. Probably craft that all up. Also remember, we've got a Patreon to go do a rat for. So we'll do that as well. But uh, yeah, I'll get all these blocks. And once I'm ready, we'll kind of push forward. Okay, I think I have everything we need here. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll just kind of head in here. We're going to build the multi-block in here. We're going to use this building. We're gonna break our floor too because uh that's uh part of the strategy just trust me it's just part of what we got to do let's go ahead and do that went ahead and made this here this is actually a crusher uh projector is this going to show the multi-block and the way you make these is actually really easy so if i want say the fermenter i go like this pop it in there do that awesome and now i can see the multi-block and i just place in the world and just build around it right so super easy to do this makes your life a lot easier when you're building these multi-blocks and uh, that's much more awesome. But uh, let's switch it back to Crusher here. There you go. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we just can use it again. Like it's nothing, man. Doesn't use the book or nothing. Anyway, that's the multi-block right there. Probably put this in our offhand. And then go ahead and grab everything else. So we need that. That. We don't need heavies. Uh, we need a... That there. What is that thing? It is a redstone engineering block. And there's one more component that I'm not looking at. Oh, that right there. That should be everything. And then, yeah, we just build this thing. It's actually super easy. Really simple with the projectors. Just uh, makes it so much easier. Usually I had to kind of memorize these things. <laughs> I used to have these uh, these multi-blocks from Immersive totally uh, memorized. Then they made the projectors, and I realized how pointless it was. So anyway, there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, not use the sword, because that's not going to work. Sweet. And this should be the last one there. Awesome. You can see there it has a little green outline. That means it's finished. Go ahead and grab the hammer. Awesome. And then just get that out of our uh, inventory. There you go. So this is the multi-block here. This is going to be output. Input. We have to drop items in there, like with a dropper. Uh, this is going to be power. So we could probably power that uh, right away. So let's just do that. Awesome. I'm also going to be dropping the items in here using these uh, covered conveyors. Because it's just going to make it so we don't like accidentally pick stuff up a lot easier. So I'm going to use a, uh, what's this here, the actual barrel connector. Then I'll be able to come back and put all the barrels here. I just want to make sure this works first. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Do this. That's good. Then we'll want one of these extracting uh, barrel uh, conveyor belts, I guess. <laughs> if I could actually get it down the right way. Maybe not. Uh, that way. This way. Oh, it doesn't want to. I'll just switch it around with the hammer. <laughs> anyway, you just uh, shift or click, I think. Oh, that totally dirt. Let's do that. Also, when you go in these, they hurt you. So don't do that too much. Uh, you can also use these things as mob farms, actually, which is pretty awesome. Uh, can, can you go the right way? Wait, what am I doing? I'm doing weird stuff for this thing. It doesn't want to go the way I want it to. <laughs> there you go. It's dropping the items in there now. It's actually getting crushed up, which is awesome. And uh, I want to put one more on there now, I guess, as well. So just make it a little further. Kind of like that there. Then probably spin that around so it's going the right way. It'll drop it off. And then the items will just come out of down here, which I can then just uh, store up 
really easy with uh, one of these puppies, right? So we'll just do that. Awesome. Drop off that dust. And we'll get some secondaries as well. So that is actually pretty awesome. It's actually really simple to set this thing up. And uh, really cool. Anything else we need to do here? Are we, are we actually just done this? Is this that simple? <laughs> it may be. So yeah, this thing is really awesome. I really like it all around. Uh, something we should make, though, is uh, a couple levers. So that's actually... Oh, we actually have two of them. Look at this. We can actually put one here and turn this off whenever we want. And we can also put one here and turn this off, right? Yes. So if we want to turn it off for any reason, that's fantastic. And you may be asking, hey, how, how do you know how much this thing can hold? Well, I'll tell you. This thing can actually hold 2 billion items in the buffer. And yeah, just kind of graft it up for you. I guess grind it down for you over time. So yeah, it's not the fastest uh, crusher out there. But it can hold 2 billion items. Well, max, like 2.14 billion. So pretty insane, actually, what this thing can do. So I'll just kind of let it run over time, do its thing. I'll have to come back and swap out the storage and stuff. Uh, I don't really want to pull this stuff automatically in the system yet. I need to find a good way to ordict agates. I haven't done that yet. I don't know if the barrels, not the barrels, the barrels don't have an ordiction upgrade. Um, drawers. The drawers have an ordiction upgrade. It doesn't always work, and I haven't tested it out yet, but... If so, I'll be able to just uh, pull them into drawers, I guess. Get them all to, like, one type of copper, one type of tin, etc., so on and so forth. We may go ahead and set up auto smelting, too, but I don't know. Maybe we'll use the arc furnace? Be a way of doing it, right? You may be asking why I'm using the conveyors, too. They're just, uh, they're, they're in the quest line, and I don't want to just make them and throw them away. So I want to use them, right? So I'm just using the ones I can. But I won't be using this one here, the vertical. <laughs> I didn't see a good reason for that one. And this one here, the splitting, which is basically like a cable's round robin. I just didn't see a point of that, so not going to do that one either. But uh, we may go ahead and set up the arc furnace as well, because uh, why not, right? Arc furnace is over here. It's a big buddy. Uh, it's actually massive. I think it's a 5x5. Five five. Can we actually fit it here? I think we need one off the wall, too. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we come to like right here. Yeah, we could fit it in here. I may go and uh, get that one crafted up as well. I just need to go and uh, check the wiki like I did for this one to see uh, exactly how many blocks we need because I'm don't going to count it from this. <laughs> it's really big. Anyway, I'll be back in a few. So apparently we have to do two multi blocks. I thought we only had to do one. So we're going to go ahead and set up a second one here. We need to set up one for the squeezer as well. So we make the electrodes for the arc furnace to make it work right. So that is the thing. Uh, that is on the right thing. Let's go ahead and convert this over. Or already went ahead and made everything, so we're good there. That's awesome. Uh, we need to take this coal coke, grind it down in a crusher. Then once we get the dust, we run that through the squeezer. And then we get this stuff here, the hot graphite dust. That turns into the agates, which then turns into electrodes uh, through here, through the engineer's workbench. You can do it through the metal press, but you see their 50% in 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 integrity where these ones are 100. So this is the way you want to do it. Also, I thought this, the dust we got yesterday, the graphite dust, I thought this was going to be compatible. So that's why I didn't think we were going to have to squeeze it today. So that's a thing. Also, when I had to make this, this is the Ordiction Ficator, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I was looking at ways we can convert our metals over to other metals, you know what I mean? And this thing seems to do it. I've never actually used this thing before. But if I actually delete that, let's get that out of there. And you hit F3 and H. We'll do that right there. Notice it says advanced tooltips. You go over an igot and it'll tell you it's ore diction name. So you can see this one is igot copper. And if we go in here, go new filter, go to igot uh, copper. It needs to be uh, right caps too, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. You kind of cycle between all the different versions of copper and get the one you want. So that is actually pretty cool because it means I will be able to uh, convert these, right? Which is pretty awesome. That isn't the right one. There it is. Thermal. Is this a thermal one? Yeah, that is the one we need anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. This is going to be the other kind, right? So this is going to be... Actually, this is the thermal. But I'll be able to convert all our agates over to one type at some point. Unless I find an easier way, I'll just pipe my agates through here at some point and then just convert it over. Anyway, that is cool. Let's go ahead and grab our projector here. We're going to set this one up over here somewhere. I need the little pipes. Yeah, I want those two little dots in the bottom <laughs> to be pointed at me. That looks good. Then get this all built up. So this should be actually pretty easy. Let's get you there, you there, you there. Let's get uh, everything out of my bar, right? Anyway, we need uh, light, a couple scaffolds. 
It's pretty easy. And yeah, this thing can make uh, liquids too, uh, which we'll probably need later on if we get to uh, the diesel power, I guess. Um, but we're not doing that right now. I thought I just didn't have to do it today. <laughs> I knew I was going to end up having to do this machine. But I guess it doesn't matter if I have to do it today or not. Go ahead and do that there. Go ahead and uh, flip that around, hopefully. There you go. And then we need the few fences. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And that's good. I think the block we actually have to hit is down here, actually. This one in the little space in between, the little barrel. These barrels are just made from treated wood, too. So nothing too special there. So yeah, this is the multi-block here, and that's good. Should be able to take this here. I actually have this off right now, because uh, I wanted to make sure we were able to do this before I got too backlogged with ores. Uh, with ores. Otherwise, I would have had to wait probably like an hour for it to catch up, you know what I mean? So <laughs> that's a thing. So there we go, we got some coke dust coming in. While we're waiting for that, actually, let's just go ahead and make the arc furnace as well, because that'll actually take a couple seconds there. Anyway, let's move these lights too. Let's put one like back there and maybe like one up there. That looks good. And uh, yeah, we'll have to switch this over again, right? So let's actually go back to the book, head out here, grab the art furnace. This thing is a monster and just uh, get this one built. There you go. Awesome. I want this one one space off the wall too. So I want it this way. Also, you can rotate these things by middle mouse. So that's how I'm doing that. Anyway, yeah, we'll need a space back here because there's actually a material back here, a uh, slag that comes out of it. So that's good, I guess as a byproduct. I don't think it's actually good, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Just something you gotta deal with, right? I mean, let's get as much off our bar as we can, because I have the entire recipe for this thing in here, and uh, it's a lot of stuff. You need things like steel blocks, some of those heavies, uh, 10 of these lights, some of these sheet metal slabs. You need these blast bricks, which are actually made for the advanced uh, blast furnace, which is something I don't think we really need, but it's there anyway. Cauldron goes right there, actually. Go ahead and go down some sheet metal. Looks like everything else is, uh, I guess that was scaffold. <laughs> These are sheet metal. There you go. He's going to actually be using the tanks there. Uh, probably do the tank at one point, too, because I saw there was a quest for that. Anyway, we'll get this done. Awesome. Then the blocks of steel. I think we actually have two of those in a row. It might actually be three. So I'm just going to do that. That looks like a heavy to me, so we'll do that. And I believe these ones on the sides are heavies. Awesome. Then we grab the lights. Then we're going to be on to the advanced ones. Sweet. And it wants the redstone engineering right there. That looks good. And uh, yeah, just a big, big multi-block, right? So this thing's actually pretty massive. <laughs> actually, do that and that. That looks good. Then this, it takes 27 of these blast bricks. So you need a good amount of them. Uh, I pre-crafted like a thousand steel uh, last night, actually, just to get a lot of this done. I know how much immersive takes. It takes a lot of materials once you get going. Wait, anyway, let's do that and that. Which block do I have in the wrong place? It says that's wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this here. Sweet. Oh, did I put, uh, yeah, let's fix that. There we go. It's nice that it tells you what you do wrong as you do it, too. Makes your life a lot easier. And uh, yeah, that's it right there. All we should have to do is go ahead and do that. Oh, not that. There you go. Hammer of the cauldron. There we go. There you go. Well, apparently that was a big quest because we got a big quest sound. Anyway, let's go to a uh, quest line here. We've got the squeezer. It's going to give us some plant oil capsules. <laughs> there you go. And uh, this one here. Oh, there's something in this chest because it says plus MBT. So see what's in there. Anyway, go ahead and check that out. Oh, really? It's, it's full of slag. This is a byproduct for this machine as it works. And it can be made in stuff. Though. You get clay out of it at least. And some concrete, I guess. And asphalt? <laughs> Nothing too, too good. Uh, so there's Phytogrow, uh, Phytogrow in this pack. But it has no use because we don't actually have the machine um, that uses the Phytogrow. But anyway, you got a space back here for that stuff, right? For the slag. So we'll probably want a chest pack here anyway. So we'll just do that. We'll just auto export it. I may swap that out for a tra trash can later on. Uh, up here, we've got our slots for the electrodes. I think we do the inputs on either side here, I think. Actually, I think the left might be for here. I don't know what goes on the right. I actually forget. <laughs> Guess we'll see when we get it going. And I can't remember where the power goes. 
Is it these back here? Is this the power? I can't remember. Uh, let's grab power cell real quick. That one, is it configured? Yes, let's grab you. Yeah, is this power? Yeah, that is actually power right there. So that's good. Uh, this might actually be done now, at least enough of it. There you go. Go ahead and take that, pop that in there. We'll need another one of these power cells. And this shouldn't take very long. I think this machine's actually pretty quick. I think it takes a, a good amount of the stuff actually to make each one too. Uh, coke dust. I, I want to say use. Coke dust. Oh, it doesn't tell you actually <laughs> that it does. Oh, no, it doesn't say it turns into hop. It just tells you you can put it in there. But if you go to recipe, right? Yeah, it takes eight per. So it's a little expensive. Anyway, we need to head back anyway. Let's do this. We need to finally get our electrodes, get this finished up. Also, this too, I got uh, this one here, Arc Furnace Electrodes. This was from an actual quest line too. It was from this one here. When you make the workbench, you have a choice between specialized projectiles or Arc Furnace Electrodes. Uh, I would take this one. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this done here. I guess I just need to smelt it down, right? Awesome. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that's nuclear craft again. I actually don't need these at all. Just go away. Stop being in my way. There we go. We actually got these things down. We got three of them. They're at 100%. Now we should be able to start uh, getting this machine going here. So let's go ahead and throw them aside. They just sit up there. Then we should be able to grab something like this here. Let's grab a good amount of it. There you go. Let's organize it. And pop it into here. Cool. And it'll just start spelling things down. I think it does everything kind of all at the same time too. Uh, with the same power. So doing one costs as much as 12 if I remember correctly, but I'm not positive. This machine is also a beast on power. It uses a lot, <laughs> whole bunch. I don't remember quite how much, but this may actually drain us. No, we're just holding. It, it's like holding, it's not going anywhere. So anyway, that's pretty cool. You can see it actually smelts up pretty quick too, which is awesome. Um, I think this is like an additive slot. You don't actually want to put things here. Anyway, I want to see where we put the items in too, because I actually forget. Go check a hopper. Yes, for right now, just to test it out, right? Let's do something like this here. Go ahead, and I think it might be this side here. There, awesome. Yes, and this side here might be for the additive, which is, uh, I, th I don't even remember what the slot is called. I don't know if it tells you in here either, actually. If you go into arc furnace, Item to be worked goes in the left. The arc furnace will smelt all sorts, all slots at the same time. In the case of alloying, the main part goes in the left and secondary gradient goes in the right. So it's alloying. Okay. So you only use this slot sometimes. You don't have to use it most of the time. Anyway, that's cool. That actually works. And uh, it, it will work. We'll be able to uh, set this up really easy. I'll just have to pipe automatically out of one of these into there. I'll probably just with conduit or something, right? Maybe a few speed upgrades. And then all the items will come out of here, uh, which then, not sure where I'm going to put that. Probably straight into a barrel first, right? Because I'll do each barrel uh, at a time, probably. So I'll work on the copper one right now, then swap over to something else. Also love how this thing's animated, how you just kind of see the liquid metal coming out of there. It's a really cool machine. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab one of these. I can at least grab some of them out of here right now. I think that auto outputs, it does. So that's awesome. So yeah, we'll be able to get through all these metals and hopefully get them all ordered uh, with this machine here. I'm gonna have to see how this works. I gotta make sure I can pump in and out of this thing because I've never used it actually. Actually, I could test that super easy too. So let's grab you. Uh, that hopper's up there, right? <laughs> let's go ahead and grab another hopper. Sweet, awesome. If I can pull out of the bottom of this thing, it works, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab this thing, put it right there. And then I would just do this. Yeah, it works. Cool. I'll be able to just pump in out of one side and out the other and get everything converted over to one kind of material. So that was cool. So yeah, everything seems to be working fine here. I did go ahead and uh, enchant all these. So you can see here they have durability, but I put on breaking three on them. So I actually go down way slower. But they've already gone down about what, 12 and a half, almost 13%. So they're only going to last so long that I'll need more of them, right? So I'm going to end up having to make some more cocoa. But I'm okay with that because I really just need this to do batches, right? So to get that kind of big backlog done. And maybe we'll switch on to a different way of doing it later on. 
but for right now this is a okay solution and it took care of a bunch of quests as well so that is awesome and is also very cool let's head down here for a second then i'm gonna probably hit the video i just want to show you something i did get here i noticed down here we actually have one of the chunky cheese tokens so yeah i was going to set up a archaeologist today uh for our patreon but uh we kind of ran out of time so i'll end up doing that in the next video and uh, we'll get that done and uh, finally be able to get into some of the cooler rats right so that is pretty cool and pretty rad and i think i'm going to end this one here um except for here i'm going to turn this on in a second but what i'm going to do is make yet another ender chest make a new channel and just pipe from there into here using some faster cabling that way i don't have to do any jank cabling kind of over the top or any conveyors or anything right so that's going to be what i do there so that is cool that is awesome and that actually took care of smelting all that pretty quickly this thing actually goes at a pretty good pace but anyway that is cool and uh yeah i am gonna end this one here though so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button really liked it hit that subscribe button it is always appreciated wish you guys all have a good one see you guys next video later